Hey everyone! Welcome back to Mighty's Creative Corner. It's so good to have you here. Today, I'm gonna be trying the so-called Lazy Girl method using clear full cover coffin tips and some poly gel. So without further ado, let's get started! So as always, we're starting off with clear nails. I've already applied a layer of base coat and I'm gonna be using this really really nice extra long coffin full cover tips. As you can see, they have a really nice shape. And I'm also going to be using this little stance that I use for my press and nails, just to make the process a little easier. So jumping straight in, we're going to apply a layer of base coat to the nail. And after curing that, I'm going to grab a clear poly gel and apply a small bead in the inside of the nail. I'm also going to be using these really pretty brushes that I just recently got. I'm going to be using some base coat as a slip solution and I'm going to go ahead and apply the layer as thinly as possible onto the entire nail. After doing that, I'm going to use these little yellow reflective petal shaped ornaments just to create a nice little flower. I'm going to be placing them straight onto the poly gel pushing them down a little bit and then with the silicone tool I'm gonna just place them in, into position and make them look nice and shapely like a flower and I'm also gonna be adding a half flower on the top of the nail and then before curing that I'm also gonna add some glitter so I chose this nice light yellow color and also this gold brown kind of color. I just thought it would make a nice contrast to lighter colors. And then I'm going to be placing it onto the nail and curing that. For the next nail, I'm going to be taking again the full cover clear tip and I'm going to use this awesome color that I just got from Quick Gel called Yellow Marker. Look at how bright and neon it is, I really love it. And along with that I'm also going to use some different shades of yellows and oranges and some gold to create a marble type look. So once again I'm adding a layer of base coat and onto that I, I will start painting like different strokes with the different colors and blending them together slightly. This does not need to be clean or organized, you, need, you can make it as messy as you want. Just keep in mind that you need this layer to be thin, so that the poly gel can still cure afterwards. So while that is curing, we're gonna get started on the next nail. So this is going to be the middle finger and I'm going to be repeating the exact same design as the ring finger. After it's cured, I'm gonna go ahead and add a small layer of poly gel on the inside of the nail and spread it out with some base coat. And then just apply it straight onto the ring finger. After curing that, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the next nail as well. The exact same process once again. Now we're going to move on to the pointer finger, once again applying a layer of base coat, some clear poly gel, and spreading it out with a little bit of base coat as a slip solution. And once again I'm going to be adding another flower with those little yellow petals. And another half flower on the top of the nail. And then I'm going to be adding some more glitter. So for this nail I decided to try a bit of a different method. I actually cured this layer and then I applied a tiny amount of poly gel on top so that it wouldn't disturb the flower design underneath. And then I just went ahead and just pressed it onto the nail and cured it once again. And for the thumb I'm going to be repeating that beautiful swirl design that I used on the two middle nails. It's super easy, super quick, 
looks really good. I just really enjoy this method honestly, it's a lot of fun. You can make all sorts of designs and if you have a really clear poly gel it's gonna look really good. Once again applying it onto the nail and curing that. And I thought that this would be a great chance for me to show you what's on my other hand. Again, these are press on nails that I've created myself. I made this with some ink colors and some pretty flower decals. As you can see, there are different flowers on each nail. And yeah, I really like them. I think they're perfect for spring. So make sure to check out my Instagram for more designs and pretty soon you're gonna be able to order from me as well. So here is the last nail stuck on. I'm gonna go ahead and just file the top of the nails just to remove that little tag that they have on the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply a layer of top coat to the lower part of the nail just so that they're not sticky from the poly gel. I'm gonna cure that as well. And then it's time to add some beautiful crystals and rhinestones. I'm gonna be using my nail glue from Vanalisa and these beautiful rhinestones that I just got. As well as these smaller rhinestones and some caviar beads. So first off, I'm gonna be applying a layer of the nail glue. Without curing it, I'm gonna be applying some top coat and then I will start decorating. I thought this looks kind of like a tulip flower, so I just really like the design. I'm also gonna be adding a little bit of a design on the thumb. I really like how the caviar beads look in between the smaller rhinestones. Then I'm gonna be applying a layer of top coat to all of the nails. And lastly, I'm gonna be adding some yellow rhinestones in the middle of my flowers. And of course, as always, some cuticle oil to nourish our cuticles. Rubbing that in. And here they are. I really hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I've been wanting to try this method for a while now, so I'm really glad I got to make a video for you guys. Let me know what you thought of this design in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos every single Tuesday. And this following week is Easter week for Orthodox people and I'm Orthodox, so I wanted to tell everyone to have a great week if you're celebrating. Uh, have a happy Easter and yeah, have a great time. You can leave suggestions for future videos down below and also make sure to follow me on Instagram to keep up with my press on nail business journey. I also wanted to say a big thank you for helping me reach 400 subscribers. I know it's not a huge milestone but it's very important to me. I put a lot of love and work into my videos so I hope you guys enjoy them just as much and I hope I'm able to keep creating content for the future. So yeah, with that I will be leaving you now and have a great week and I'll see you next week. Bye!